outside of Mechanicsburg, Indiana at the Browns Wonder Creek under a bridge. Uh, pretty cool echo here. And before we get going, I just want to point out these really cool swallows nests. But anyway, the idea of working here uh, in this location is that we've got a real narrow creek that really opens up on this bridge. So I got fast moving water, slow moving water, almost standstill. So with my two inch, which we'll go look at in a minute, I've been working this and my attire is a, uh, these are just skins. It's not a wetsuit, but then I got like a polyester and shorts and then uh, scuba diving shoes. So the water temperatures, I don't know, mid 60s. You can see a, a tailings pile that I was working on yesterday, giving you an idea of what's here. So there's uh, sand over everything, and then there's probably 18 inches or so of overburden. This type of, this size of rock. And then uh, we go down about 18 inches, and there's about a two inch layer of clay, and there's an, a black organic level over that. And then under the clay, that's about as far as I could, that's as deep as I could go. Under the clay is even bigger rocks. So here's actual, that's where the hole I was working. Here's an actual tailings pile right over here. So everything two inches and under is right there. Yeah. Go out to the dredge. see this spot I'm working right under this this big blue stone here I can't quite get all the way under that stone it's sitting on another rock and I'll tell you neither of those stones have moved in about a thousand years so but uh, this hole that hole over there uh, and I did one more smaller one over there it's about nine hours of dredging so you got your suction nozzle and that's in a good location. It's underwater. My hose is already filled with water. Um, it's probably already primed from yesterday. But we'll double check that. So the way I'm going to check that is uh, opening up this pressure relief a little bit and then shaking that you see this water coming right down there it means I'm primed so the basics of this guy operates off of a ventrilli so the pump shoots water straight from this nozzle through this tube and that way and what happens is the force of that water blowing out my sluice pulls air, rock, sediment, water, everything that's in the suction nozzle. Um, now my sluice could be riding back a little bit further, but here's where I've got it. It's a little difficult to just willy-nilly move this brass plate over this steel support. What I could do is move this bracket over here and then I'd have more freedom coming back. And I'll probably do that when I get home. But other than that.
few things on just breaking down the sloops. There was a quick release here, quick release there. This comes out. I should have more water in the bucket, but you get the idea. There's some grading here on top of the miner's mat. idea take the miners mat pretty heavy what's better than this five gallon bucket Uh, that concrete tub right there but this works see that's not good that's way too much material under this mat so we'll, uh, we'll have to adjust that later Just roll that felt up. Same thing. 